Hello, dear friends. I thought you might get a kick out of a recent poetic prose piece that I wrote. Uh, we all remember Dr. Seuss. I remember him from third grade, walking into class for the first time and realizing that I love the way the man wrote. But this is a tale of warning. I'm not a tree hugger. But I think you'll get a kick out of it. It's called Darwin Was Green. One solemn night the moon did rise, and I took in with great surprise, nestled down beneath whitened pine trees, a child, a little fop, a person who'd been alive for naught, a little lamb whom I thought had lost his way. He seemed to shiver there beneath winter tree and evergreen, and he bore the same sheen. He smiled my way and shook his head. With elegance he straightened his spine beneath that pine. "'Tis not the cold, dear sir, that's brought me here. It's you, my friend, it's you." I stepped back from my place, falling back into the way I trod. It seemed odd to me that one so young should speak with such gifted tongue. Recapturing my fallen step, I entered into his leafless place. Nearing closer, uttering with pep, How do you do? Shivering! You seem from space! It was then with note his lips did not quiver, His tongue didn't move, yet in my head he did deliver. I am not what you see, I am more than this, But one so we was more likely to be approached Than when I am at my most. And now I shook inside my shoes, Though not a drip, a lick, a swig of booze had touched my tongue, my teeth, my gums. How could one be in my head, unless I was a member of the dead? I swooned near out, fuzzy in my head. I pinched my arm, it was not dead. The pain resurrected my dizzying lid. Clear now I looked at him and said, Am I alive or newly dead? Are you God or the devil in his stead? Don't worry, Clive, it is not he, or the dark one from hell's eternity. It is but a lowly nymph, a forest sprite. It is time for you to change, to learn to drink from the Bacchanalian spring, and speak soothing words that make all sing. What speak ye of my forest elf? Why green are you when most are not? Beloved Clive, it's time to find yourself committed. Your light, your joy, completely submitted. What say you? Would you like to learn a little? What do I call you, my forest friend? Just call me Darwin, for it should ring quite dear. I shan't be wanting you to call me something that you fear. And with that Darwin unglued with pride, for him to know that I was such scientific brood, I smirked and shuffled with teeth and feet. We seemed a pair. Green light and scientist, scientist elite. We sat in peace across from the other. Lips did not move. He brought me bother. How can these things be, dear Darwin? How can things be so screwed up? We've evolved, changed, and arrived to civilized stuff. You've changed, tis true, but the glue that binds will soon undo. I've seen your wisdom, your thoughts in my mind. But how can a world so advanced unwind? With but one billion more of you, the green that binds will soon unglue. For your breath, your meth, your oil so black will bring rust and the machine will falter. All will be lost and humans will once more alter. I stood right then and hugged my friend, and as we touched his hue did attend to change my skin, my mind, my life. No longer was I Clive. Darwin taught me to be alive. I speak to you, my reading friend. It's time to green our world once more, or all that we love, that we adore, will burst in death and end our days. Put down your keys and stop the madness. Lay down your arms and hug in gladness. A greenish nymph did I once meet. And that one sprite made me truly defeat. 
the madness that we'd fallen into. Let down your guard and turn green too. I had fun with that. I hope you enjoyed it. You can see me and some of the stuff I write. Not all of it is definitely iambic broken pentameter. But I hope you enjoy my little reading. Have a good night.